RC Worsting Company values our relationships with engineers and on-site septic system installers. Therefore, we've developed a number of AutoCAD product and system drawings which can help engineers bridge the gap between design and installation. These details include scaled equipment components, standard septic and dose tank sizes, drain filled products and details, as well as many more. Currently, we are offering these details in AutoCAD format to our engineering partners free of charge. But keep in mind some of the items contained therein are region specific. So let us know and we can get the correct details for your project. We've recorded a few videos here to help you use some of the features contained within the drawings available. Please find us at www.rcworst.com and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy. Yes, hello, this is Eric with RC Worst uh, with another video on uh, AutoCAD. So we're going over the uh, dynamic blocks and how to set up your own tool palettes. Uh, first of all, we want to uh, hit the command TP for tool palettes. Uh, one thing I like to do is allow docking, and you can uh, snap this to the uh, end of your screen. This is a fairly uh, convenient place for it. Uh, and how I have it set up is that we have uh, several different categories and uh, different blocks all within those. Um, and uh, just categorized to uh, help things move along. Uh, so we uh, have given these uh, drawings out. Uh, this drawing is uh, kind of the septic system um, dynamic blocks that we have that we offer uh, to aid in uh, designers and engineers work to uh, work more efficiently. And uh, how you can get this going, so once you have the tool palette up, simply right click, go to customize commands. Nope, all right. Customize palettes, excuse me. And uh, we're gonna be offered with these uh, two different uh, windows over here. The one on the left is gonna be uh, mostly the standard um, ones that come with AutoCAD. And then from here down, are uh, the ones that I've created, uh, the content that they correlate here. And how I got them over here is by, uh, you can uh, right click, new group, uh, add those in. And one thing to look out for is uh, as you add in new groups, sometimes they can be up one or down one from what you might accept, expect. Uh, simply, you may have to, uh, to play around with it. I always have to fiddle with it. And um, so once we're here, you go come up with the uh, categories that you want that make sense to you, and um, you need to save the uh, the program. This one's already here, so what you would do is right-click, hold, and come over here. The black line appears. You can uh, add that wherever you would like. And uh, from there, you can uh, open up a new drawing, click, drag, Come up with the uh, configuration that you want, and uh, simply go about it. And uh, it's a very quick, easy way. It's uh, very convenient to uh, to move forward. You can do uh, the model space very quickly with these. And uh, well, thank you for watching. Uh, please stay tuned. Uh, we'll get you more. Thanks.